1330. Neural 
Behavioral Psychology. Okay, so introduction of this study, let's talk about the phonetic discriminations. Now there is curse of English, especially speakers from peripheral cultural circles can realize that they articulate English phonics in very ways are difficult. So they will alter some ways in order to communicate in academic settings. Articulating planes can be flexible due to a series of individual reasons such as language differences and uh, pragmatic motivations in formational quantity measurements or physical structural diversities. Therefore, ESL speakers might pronounce all vowels as four vowels rather than employing the stress reduction to shrug. Characteristic of Native American English speakers such as television may be produced as a television rather than television. Suggested by Garner in how that descriptive of phonetics. So, uh, Torreira and uh, Ernest in the article vowel elision in casual French, saying that the reduced form typical of casual connected to speech, such as English Ghana and Wana can be viewed as a fasonized uh, uh, versions of extreme gradient reduction in frequent words, especially in the United States. Numbers uh, lexicalized and reduced form can be found in other languages as well. For example, courage or the uh, natural for of course uh, in Dutch. So pa or papa for uh, father in Spanish. So in hand and low that in linguistic field for everyone suggests that English uh, critic as uh, forming is grammatically independent but uh, phonologically dependent on another word. And they involve some phonological reduction as the not of do, not becoming, and, and to, of want to becoming, to, and the half of the could have. Would have and the should have turns to up. So become could, would, and the should. So it's a kind of abbreviation. So according to Kulikov's uh, uh, voicing contrast in consonant clusters, speech tempo might also affect in production of voicing. For example, variation in voicing duration in Russian, obstruent in prepositions was found more often in fast speech. Moreover, in Sweden, stress alteration is also an active phonological process in North Germanic language. Braid in the phonology of Swedish mentioned that, for example, a name Kauro is oral turn into Kauro of, of which the first name Carlos stress as well as the first stress disappear and the second stress on title still exists. And in Spain, uh, Catalan has the phonological abbreviation for difference between stress and unstressed vowel in a system, in which the seven phonetic vowel, U, O, O, A, O, R and E reduced to three vowels, U, E, respectively. 
in untranslatable, which is ever mentioned in reconsidering erosion in grammaticalization by Schering. Far in a contrastive hierarchical account of positional neuralization, argues that for a model of neuralization in which segment in neuralized positions are represented with non-terminal nodes of the contrastive hierarchy. So this means that Neutralization is accomplished by deleting all values of the features of uh, reflecting the contrast, which is lost, rather than requiring segment in neutralizing position to have only the positive or negative value of a given feature. In this way, Neutralization is characterized by the under-specification of contrastive features rather than a ban on one of members of an opposition. In a contractive uh, hierarchical account of positional neutralization, SPAR means um, neutralization forms contain neither member of the neutralized opposition but a third Archiphonemic segment. I show that this is possible if we assume that the phonology is able to interpret all nodes of the contracted hierarchy as uh, elicit lexical representation. So they are phonetic alongside the terminal modes which reflects the phonics in the traditional sense. In Russian, all unstressed position involve a loss of contrast between R and O, but the phonetic realization of unstressed segment can vary in height from A to O. Traditionally, Russian has been described as showing two degrees of vowel reduction based on the realization of unstressed segments according to underlying A and O. And historically, native English speakers in New York vocalized R in cold down position. Following the pattern of the prestige dialects in England, suggested the social stratification of English in New York City by Lobov. However, over the past century, the prestige norm of the United States based on Midwest American English has favored relativity in all positions, gradually displacing traditional New York City pronunciation mentioned by mother in the social stratification of R in New York City. Over the past 50 years, William Lobov, the author of the social stratification of English in New York City and the other linguists have investigated language change and in particular, the role of different social factors, including age, social class, and gender on language change. The decline of rotisity in many British accents between 16th and 18th century suggests that the deletion of rule for word final receipt Patented machine of uh, events that led to both intrusive and linking process mentioned by Cox in Hunter's the Resolution and the linking are in Australian English and female speaker of New Zealand English used leaning R significantly less frequently than
than males. This is mentioned by Hay and uh, McLaren in Art 70 by uh, early 20th century New Zealand English. As you can see, the phonological referendum as well as the alteration emerge based on the individual's need due to diverse factors. In fact, the phonological reduction is not limited within field of linguistics since the term accent reduction is most commonly found in business setting where individuals or companies offer to help a sign language user reduce or eliminate their foreign accent. And in contrast, accent modification is more commonly used by speech language pathologists who often follow a business model but with a pseudo-medical band. The bot concept has been suggested by Darwin Roger, Kong, and the Thompson in the second language accent and Essex issued that Marie attention. So we will talk about the simplified variations. This article will discuss the idea that the interlocutors consciously or subconsciously avoid significant information abandonment by adopting or creating simplified, comprehensible format by their own. In truth, the phenomenon of the phonological reduction not only exists in non-native speakers, speaking foreign language, but also within all languages and the, uh, dialects themselves. Human beings tend to moderate the problematic sounds into naturally pronounceable ones. And the brain and physical structures, such as tongue and lips, automatically apply and restore to some as acutable pronunciations. And in the English as the second language of immigrants feels in the United States, the word yesterday is a good example of an accent reduction, in which native speaker merge the vowels and delete or silence the birth sound, altering into yesterday in mid-sentence. For example, going to, reducing to gonna, or even further as I'm gonna reducing to I'm gonna, involves the following. First one, the reduction of full O to shrunk. Second one, change the letter to Nostal, the third one, vowel nasalization, the fourth one, flapping, all of which occur in other words as well. Above concept is mentioned by BB in frequency of use and the organization of language. In fact, fast the native sounds might spontaneously appear from time to time due to national characteristic of being free and the democratic. Historically, in order to distinguish themselves from the counterparts in the United Kingdom and Europe, American English speakers are less formal and have to incorporate in a variety of words and accent from Europe, Africa, Latin America, and Asia. In the third millennium, non-native speakers of English frequently use phonetic alterations, usually by ways of mother tongue phonetization and or generalization, in order to facilitate international communicate needs. In fact, some Interlingua can naturally be self-monitored and developed based on balancing characteristics of first language and the other dominant of official foreign language. On the other hand, in a lingua franca as well as a common English,
language in certain international communities, particular cultural terminologies are usually purely mentioned, such as Tai Chi in Chinese custom, and yoga in Hindi sports, and kimchi in Korean cuisine. From view of a world phonological reduction, from the perspective of Japanese native speaker using Japanese, a significant linguist, uh, Mayo Kawa, in co articulatory reinterpretation of uh, a low phonic variation, ever investigated some patterns in spontaneous Japanese, reporting that in standard Japanese, the phoneme is realized variably, either as an affricate or a fricated. In a parallel study, Japanese linguist and introduction, Yamakuchi san found in a Japanese linguistic textbook can be variably realized and articulated as either zi or strong or weak. As in sundries or lake and the wind or cousin. So English are reduced by Japanese. In fact, if a linguist observes Japanese people's ways of articulating the while speaking in English, simplified sounds such as uh, the above facilitated example appear frequently. Based on the personal experience of one of these studies, authors Lin, who spent some time in served Japanese passengers as a stewardess of China Airlines, different places like Nagoya. Um, the orange juice is uh, facilitated into a lane. The reason is the voice uh, Plato Abiolar Frike also described as a voice stone uh, past Abiolar Frike is rather in Japan. Example of neutralization. Similarly, fish can be voiced as a hitch. Due to the labiodental fricative consonant sound, which is not included in katakana, the foreign language, a series of a symbol for words borrowed from English language, although the sound exists in Japanese language, for example, arigato gozaimashita, and which is quite close to Usually, sh is lighter than sh. So, long word of analogy, the linguistic uh, kawahara in the testing Japanese, long word devoicing, discusses the devoicing of obstruents uh, in the long word phonology of Japanese. It is known that the voice obstruent uh, germinates but the in Japanese long words can be devoiced. But exactly when such devoicing occur remain unclear. For example, voice obtuant germinates optionally devoiced. If they co-occur with another voice obtuant, when they violate an uh, obligatory counter principle, And there are some reduction in Mandarin. Moreover, while Chinese speaks in Mandarin, their habits can be fossilized and uh, integrate into other languages, as uh, accent in foreign language. In Mandarin, the first monosyllabic uh, phoneme morphing means to stress and the, the Second one does not, as a result, the second one should apply phonological reduction. Classically, this end with a weaker tone by neutralizing first uh, vowel into shorter vowel like a schwa. 
，For example， 谢谢婆婆、叔叔、哥哥。好的，听好了，桌子亮亮的。好 ，It's very simplified. And similar in German. Also, German has lexical stress and has been described as stress time, while Mandarin Chinese has lexical tone and has been described as syllable time. Chinese learners of German have both a higher proportion of vocalic intervals and higher standard deviation on some consonantal intervals. Resulting from their vowels of emphasis and non-reduction of vowels and their slow speaking rate, respectively. Also, Chinese speakers produce a larger pitch range within the vocalic intervals and can hardly vary in the intonation patterns to match different sentence type in German. In German, too expressed. Different intonational meanings. This is suggested by Dean and Hoffman in an investigation of prosodic features in the German speech of Chinese speakers. The broad views of a study motivation for neutralization. The above diverse characteristic discussion of a non. Native speakers' usages and foreign speakers' phonetic reduction habits lead to further discussion about whether the above cases can either be regarded as terrible neutralization types of interlingua and lingua franca, or non-standard English, non-standard language, and interlanguages. So. Linguists has a field for workers expect the foreign accent to be parallel within regular diverse features. If differences between native and non-native speakers are due to differences in the effects of lexical features between non-native speakers' first language and second language, we will expect non-native speakers with the same First language to behave similarly, and the speakers with different first language to behave differently. In word duration in non-native English by Baker, this elicit authors incentive of investigating Taiwanese characteristics of English phonological reduction to identify non-native-like English in the Taiwanese style. So, from view of neutralization, this study investigates how people around the world weaken their own intricate English sounds based on their first language in order to pigeonize the language in English and utilize their own diverse fossilized habits in pursuit of fluent international communication. For example, for reasons of the convenience and for effectiveness, interlocutors tend to pronounce words in ways that uh, deviate from their officially dominated language or uh, canonical mother language. For example, German in phonological and the phonetic uh, representation means mentioned that phonological neutralization involves the elimination of phonemic discretion in a particular uh, phonological context. So people can feel uh, intimate where their approachable ways of sounding are proximate and might be strange. So let's take a 10 minutes break.